hello guys in this video you're gonna learn dns dhcp and ri routing let's build network topology i'm gonna drag and drop the three routers three switches three server and four pcs let's connect this I'm gonna name this server as DHCP server for this one DNS server and the server 2 will be web server let's configure this web server open up the web server go to desktop IP configuration I'll give the IPv4 address as 30.30.30.1 and the subnet mask the default gateway will be 30.30.30.0 and go to service tab we will gonna enable http and https so let's edit the index.html i will edit this cisco packet tracer as youtube save this click on the s yes. close this open up the dns server go to desktop ip configuration and give the ipv4 address that is 30.30.2 subnet mask the default gateway will be 30.30.0 go to service tab dns click on the service and give the name as www.youtube.com type will be a record and give the address of the web server that is 30.30.30.1 click on add close this open the dhcp server Go to desktop, IP configuration, give IP for address that is 10.10.1, subnet mask, default gateway will be 10.10.10.0. Go to service tab, go to DHCP, click on the service, leave the pool name as it is, default gateway will be 10.10.0, DNS server, IP address will be this server that is 30.30.30.2 and the range of the IP address will start from 10 and the subnet mask will be 255 and the maximum users will be 512 click on the save close this so let's open the PC let's check the DHCP server which is working or not go to desktop IP configuration click on the DHCP it is requesting IP address now it's successful. This also gives the IP address, update mask, default gateway, and the DNS server. So go to another PC, go to desktop, IP configuration, click on DHCP. It's successful. We're gonna do the DHCP to this LAN using the router. For that, we need to configure first router here. Go to router one, config tab. Go to fast ethernet 0 slash 0 because this switch is connected to the router through fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so click on the port status give ip for address as 20.20.20.0 and submit mask and go to cli exit from this give the command as ip dhcp pool and give the pool name as lan2 enter and give the ip range that will be 20 series so let's give the 20 dot zero dot zero dot zero and the subnet mask two fifty five dot zero dot zero dot zero press enter and give the default router IP address that will be twenty dot twenty dot twenty dot zero where it should not use this IP address for the PCs where it is already taken by the router click on enter and give the DNS IP address that will be thirty dot thirty dot thirty dot two press enter exit from this close this Open this PC, desktop, IP configuration, DHCP. It's requesting now it's successful. Let's give the IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and the DNS server. Let's also do this in another PC. Go to desktop, IP configuration, DHCP. Successful. 
close this. Let's configure the other two routers and this router also. Open up this router. Go to config tab. Now this switch is connected to router through fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. Go to fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. Click on the port status and give the IP for address sets default gateway that is 10.10.10.0 and the submit mask and now the router 0 is connected to router 1 to serial 2 slash 0 so go to serial 2 slash 0 click on the port status and give the IP for address as 40.40.1 and the submit mask close this open up the router 1 go to config tab Fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. We already done that. So now let's configure the serial 2 where it is connected to router 0. So click on the port status and give the IP for address as 40.40.40.2. Submit mask. Also click on this port status. Go to serial 3 slash 0. So it's connected to the router through serial 3 slash 0. Click on the port status and give the IP for address as 50.50.1 and the subnet mask close this open the router 2 go to config tab serial 2 click on the port status and give IP for address as 50.50.2 and the subnet mask go to fast ethernet 0 slash 0 click on the port status now give the IP address as default gateway where it is connected to the switch to fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. So let's give 30.30.30.0 submit mask close this. So now let's configure RIP routing in all these three routers. So go to router 0 RIP give the network address of this PC range where it starts from 10 series and also the router that is 40 series so give 10.0.0.0 and also the router series that is 40 series at this open up the router 1 RIP give the network address of this LAN that is 20 series and the router series will be 40 series and the 50 series so that will be 40.0.0.0 and another one will be 50.0.0.0 and the PC series will be 20.0.0 close this open up the router 2 go to RIP the IP range from 30, 30 series that will be 30.0.0.0 and also the 50 series close this now let's send the packets from PC1 to PC0 within the networks this will be successful from PC2 to PC3 is also successful within the network from DNS server to web server is also successful let's send the packets to different networks from PC1 to PC2 for the first time it will be failed do it again from PC1 to PC2 successful from PC0 to DNS server the first time it failed do it again pc0 to dns server it will be successful so let's check the web page in this pc go to web browser type www.youtube.com click on go now it's give youtube page close this let's also check from another pc from different networks go to pc3 web browser type www.youtube.com. It's also this. Thank you for watching, guys.